I'm gonna record and then uh, Jay Spears, I'll start with you, man. So go ahead and unmute. All right, so um, I'm Justin, everyone. Um, known Desi for shoot a long time now. Yeah, he's see, he's known me since I was a little kid. And uh, no, in terms of uh, of movement, um, one thing Desi and I really uh, touched on uh, last week during our call was uh, doing the seven minute workouts. Um, I don't know if you guys have done that in your home. So, you know, it's, you know, push ups, uh, planks, uh, wall sits, you know, uh, getting on, getting the chair, doing uh, leg ups and stuff like that. Um, so I've been doing that and it's actually been beneficial. I also have uh, like an ab roller set up right here in my office. So like anytime, you know, I have a few minutes to kill and I, I I'm feeling energetic. I do, um, some type of movement and it's not like, like I'm going to the gym. Like it's not like I'm like breaking this huge sweat, but at least it's something. So yeah, some type of movement. All right. Yeah. I love that. Thanks Jay. All right. So Philly, let's start with, uh, let's go uh, next to you, buddy. Uh, hello, I'm Philip or Philly or, or Felipe. Felipe. <laughs> I will respond to literally any one of those. Um, yeah, stay active. Um, we've been going out. So my, my wife is on is like, finally, thank God, um, working from home as well. Um, so we have been taking our dog out to the desert and like running around with her and just kind of taking like breaks throughout the day with each other. Uh, going and just getting out in our backyard. Um, Self promotion. It's my birthday. Um, we're oh. even, and like our like big activity today is to like play frisbee in our backyard today. So that's just kind of what we've been doing to to stay active. Nice man. Well, happy birthday. Fifty two looks good Thanks, on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, use. Go ahead, man. Let me unmute you and then uh, get after everybody. How's it going? Uh, I've known Desi for about a year. I met him last year uh, working with the Brewers. Um, <clears throat> we've also gone over the seven-minute workout here at home. I've been doing that uh, the last week or so. And then uh, today kind of rode, uh, rode the bike around the neighborhood, went to sister-in-law's house, uh, like almost four miles. So it was uh, pretty good to get that done. And, you know, been trying to stay consistent with the meal preps and all that but it's been good so far nice man well, wa welcome to the group dude nice. love it use t lao <laughs> my girl what's up dude <laughs> uh, um i've known desi for about a little bit over two years two years now um i've been home working from home so i've been doing i just signed up for uh the center um app that uh yeah. Chris Hemsworth is running heading up so I just started that yesterday I've been going to the park next door so I'm like that weird park lady now that was my <laughs> yoga mat <laughs> me too, <laughs> <laughs> me too. It was pretty, pretty awesome um nice. I'm trying to get into like a good workout at least 30 minutes a day so it's been good nice nice and uh for those who have not seen if you jump into the exercise channel uh, T posted the, I think it's a Instagram post that gives you six weeks free and they do all of your exercise programming. And it's really great because they go through functional fitness, they go through mobility, they, th they go through hit style workouts, all things that you can do from home. Um, and then obviously for those that don't know, Anthony, who is on here, who's not right here right now, works for Nike. So he threw in a shameless plug for the Nike running app. So there's a lot of free resources right now that we can all be using because uh, for most of you, we've jumped on calls and talked about your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So that means everything outside of exercise, that by default has gone down working remote. So uh, your activity is going to be huge towards a lot of your fat loss goals. I mean, for the three of you, Justin, you, T, you guys are pretty much on similar programs in that we're looking towards improving the body comp and then Phil's a little bit more on the side of uh, gaining weight. So um you know, he could probably do without any movement and just eating a shit ton. <laughs> okay. All right. So like I said, this is the first time that we're doing this. So I'm going to pin the video here. Can you guys all give me a thumbs up if your big screen is this one right here? No, nothing. Okay. Um, all right. So so the big screen should be the cutting board right here. Can you guys go to the top right corner 
and go ahead and say pin video so that it's it's your uh, it's your larger one. Yeah. Okay. So T, you got it. Use, yeah. you got it. J. No. Right, hold on. Okay, so Jay, go to the top right corner. You should be able to have something that says pin video. And so you want to oh, do okay. that to the cutting board. Okay. I'll do the cutting board. Yeah. Uh, got it. Cool. Got it. Okay. All right, cool. All right. So just so that you guys can see me. All right, cool. All right. So a lot of you had had questions about ways that not only you can stretch your dollar, but you can stretch your meals. And Justin, this is something actually that you and I had a really good conversation about is something that you can buy and then primarily stretch over, over a large period of time. So what I did is I got a large amount of raw garbanzo beans. So for those that have an instant pot, it's something that you can do in about 45 to 50 minutes if you just throw it in there. Um, for those that, that don't, you wanna do it in a slow cooker, you're going to have to soak these for about two hours and then you can put it in the slow cooker. So the actual bag of garbanzo beans probably cost me about 250. You can see here that we are about to cook up a shit ton of food and a shit ton of snack ideas. So anything that we're throwing on here, you guys, I'm gonna be putting the recipes afterwards, but I just want you to see how, how, how the feature goes, okay? So uh, first things first, all right, so we're gonna have two separate ones. So for this first recipe, what we're literally going to do is coat here, Throwing some olive oil. And so we're gonna make some spicy uh, roasted garbanzo beans. So these right here are something that you can literally add to salads if you want to up your fiber, up your protein. And in most cases, that's always, always a great thing because by now you should already know if you post something and you don't have enough protein, you're gonna hear me ask you, where's your protein at? Or how much protein? Or I might ask you like where to color at, right? So you guys are pretty conditioned to do that right now. So what we would do here is literally just throw it on the sheet, give it a bit more oil. Now, it really depends on how hot you want these. Like I personally have a ghost pepper salt that I'm gonna throw on it, because I want my shit to be real hot. Uh, so some other things that you can do as well, which why I think our bonzo beans are really, really advantageous outside of just using them as hummus, is that they're high in fiber and they're high in protein. So like I said, for most people, you know, if you're on a, a small calorie deficit, you know, like tea, like you, for a small amount, this is going to provide you with enough fiber and protein to feel like you've eaten uh, more than you have. And so this kind of offers the same thing that your volume does. So the other thing that we're going to throw in is cayenne pepper. Just going to throw that across here. So we're going to throw in a little pepper as well. And really too, the name of the game here, you guys, is anti-inflammation. And so for those that didn't see one of the Facebook lives, I was talking about what chronic inflammation does to the immune system. Any of these spices right here are going to be really, really good towards anti-inflammation, okay? So we've got garlic powder right here. You know, same thing with your chili powder. So what I also did while I'm doing this, so this prep time is gonna take about 10 minutes top. So what you can do is start to preheat your oven at 425 while this is going, okay? So the other thing I did is a smoked paprika. Again, these are really good to add on salad. These are really good uh, just to have as a side. And I'm gonna teach you a little bit more about how to utilize them as more as like, more as like a snack, but uh, this side is good. So this is all ready to go. So what you're going to do, and as we sort of couple them with two different recipes, is we're gonna jump onto this side. And so for those, like this is kind of your spicy type of garbanzo bean. Now we're gonna go on the sweet side. Uh, I know for most that, that love cereals as kids, this is gonna really um, get you excited. So it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, garbanzo beans, right? So these are gonna be fire. So we're gonna throw a, a coconut oil over here. We want it to, to uptake that taste instead of just using an olive oil. Now with these, it's a little bit different. So these caused you to shell the actual, actual garbanzo beans. Again, we have a little bit more time now, so it takes an extra 10 minutes. So literally all that you need to do is grab one and shell it and get rid of the shell because we want these ones to be much more crispy than we want these ones right here, okay? We're gonna throw these down. 
All right, so we're gonna get a, a small little mixture here. So the first thing that we're gonna add is cinnamon. Put it right here, there we go. So we're gonna add a little cinnamon, make sure that almost all of them get it. We also wanna give this a little bit of salt. Um, so the other one was a ghost pepper. This is just a, a pink Himalayan salt that you can do. All right, so this one's gonna be a, a bit more different. Now, what we're going to do essentially is throw this in at 425 for about 10 minutes. So I'm 100% about to uh, Rachel Ray you real quick and say, voila. All right, so what we did here is these are the roasted spicy garbanzo beans that we did for a full 25 minutes, okay? The only difference here is that what we did is we, for this one right here, so we put them in for 10 minutes, and when we took the 10 minutes out, we did a combination of your vanilla extract and maple syrup, and then crunched walnuts, and we threw that on top of here. Okay, so as we drizzled all of that, you're gonna see here that it started to caramelize a little bit. And so for those that are looking for like a, a, a nighttime snack or something like that where you get a sweet tooth, this is something right here that provides you with a good balance of carbs, protein, and fats. And so when we look at snacking, there are other ways that we can do this that can be more uh, health-based rather than just navigating something like ice cream or candy. Not to say that that's the end of the world, uh, but this, this treat right here is so sweet that it might be something that you can add to granola or, or uh, excuse me, add to yogurt or something like that. All right, so these are the additions right here that took about 25 minutes on top of that, probably uh, five extra minutes um, during prep. So it's 30 minutes worth of work and you're going to have things that you can top and, and obviously things that can provide you with a better sweet tooth. All right. Okay, so for this next thing right here, so we took the garbanzo beans and this is going to be like more of a uh, like a greek salad like a greek cold salad okay so obviously we have a shit ton of our color here so we have some of our uh, orange peppers yellow peppers green and red and again right now especially uh the way that we are going to try to not so much boost our immune system but to strengthen our immune system is getting a shit ton of color in our bodies. That's really the, the measure of what we're trying to do from the standpoint of immunity. Then the other thing that we did was cucumber. So I have those cut up right here. I have some pitted Palomata olives. So diced red onion, some lemon juice right here, some cut up uh, cherry tomatoes. Okay, so this is super basic. It took me more prep time because it was more like presentation, but let me show you how this is gonna work. So we got this here. Uh, let's transfer it here. So we got that. I probably need a bigger container than what I have, but oh well. So here. And then we're gonna add our olives in here. And obviously, you know, everything that you're going to be doing that is Greek also needs feta cheese because it's not Greek, it doesn't have feta. So this is something that you can add here. All right, so the addition of spices. So we're gonna use some dried oregano. We're just going to hit it a couple times like this. Okay, it calls for salt and pepper. I don't really use salt in a whole lot of the things that I do, but we'll do just for this recipe. Again, as it becomes the spring and summer months, uh, depending on if we ever get outside with this whole uh, quarantining. But most of us live in really hot climate, so we need the salt. So we're going to add pepper in there. Then we're going to add our lemon juice right on top. And the kicker is really going to be just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so we're gonna give it one, two, three. 
All right. So from there, obviously you want to you always want to make sure that your your gram game is heavy, so you can take an image of right here the before and after, but you just stir it in. And this is another thing too, if you're kind of just like, all right, like I really am not interested in meal prepping everything, but having things on hand, these three things right here could literally help you, which is better time management. Cause you can serve yourself a bowl right here and you get enough protein and enough fiber for a, a good snack. And for those that have higher protein needs, you can always throw some chicken on the side of this. You can always throw some other type of protein. I've tried playing with, with other styles where like tofu, it's just not the same, but this is also something that you can do. All right, so again, this is a shit ton of food for, you know, on top of what we did, which was originally it was 250 for the bag. And then all the fixings, you might add an additional, probably top seven bucks, but damn, that's, that's a shit ton of food right here. All right, so this is one really quick way that you can stretch your dollar. You can help to strengthen your immunity by the use of color. And also you have a great deal of balance between your amino acids, which your plant protein, something like this is going to provide. All right. So that was super quick. How's my time? T, I know you had to leave in 30 minutes. Look at that. 17 minutes. Woo. They just pushed it back to 115. So I'm good. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this out then. <laughs> I have a question, Des. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the beans, the gorgonzola beans, are they the same that you get in the can, the bag one and the can one, one? One hundred percent, yeah. So your garbanzo beans and your chickpeas are, are literally the same thing. It's what's made out of hummus, or it's how you make hummus rather. So yeah, you can definitely go canned. Um, this was also based off a convo that I had with Justin, where he was like, "Hey man, is there something that we could buy where we could just stretch it?" You can one hundred percent do canned, and and really that's what we do, but. Um, when I bought the bag, it was also like day one of quarantine. So I was like, man, I'm going to have to just get some plant proteins that I can stretch. And I've always been wanting to use the instant pot anyway. Um, so yeah, you can definitely tea, do, do canned here, uh, which might be a bit easy, a bit easier, but again, with the, uh, our sweet kind of cinnamon toast crunch, we're going to have to shell it. I personally kind of looking at them, you might be able to look at them right now. They don't look that different, but I do know just based off of the crunch that this might be a whole lot better. Okay. All right. So good, good question to you. Uh, Justin, any uh, questions or takeaways? Yeah. Are, so uh, the garbanzo beans, after you take them out of the oven, are they like, are they kind of like corn nut almost? Yeah. 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 That's, okay. that's probably the, the best comparison that I would take right now. It's, it's primarily just like corn nut. So, these can offer as a treat. Like what I would probably do is get yourself some peppers, uh, maybe some cottage cheese or something like that and do this for like a good snack. Uh, and like I said, this can act as your crouton. It's gonna be way higher in fiber, way higher in protein and less processed. I mean, it's just, it, it's a game changer. Absolutely. Okay, cool. cool. Um, use, any, uh, any takeaways that you're seeing here or questions you might have? Wait, and also, there you go you sorry i just unmuted you go ahead i already finished my question <laughs> say it again i didn't hear you <laughs> uh for the garbanzo beans can you store them just on the counter in a container and also let's say i don't like eating the uh, veggies raw would i be able to saute them and eat them hot with a chicken let's say good hey good question so um use what you might even be able to do with that like this dish right here is going to be completely different if it's cooked but you can almost, and this is probably what we're going to do tonight because we're going to make some fish tacos. Uh, I'm actually going to throw these in the tacos as kind of like the, the beans or the protein, if you will. So you, you can definitely do like a fajita style cook and just saute all of this um, using the same ingredients as here. Because when you try to saute these, they're already hard, so they're not really going to soften. So it's going to be like a really soft outside and a hard inside, which is kind of a, a weird textural thing. Okay. Um, well, but yeah, question. Sorry. Go ahead. Hey, so when you uh, going back to like the like the syrup and then like the almonds or the pecans, um, do you do that after you take it in the oven or before you put it in the oven? Yeah. So 
remember, we're going to do 10 minutes of this. We're going to take it out after 10 minutes. Then on the, on the sweet one, on the Captain, or not the Captain Crunch, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, what we're going to do is put the, the syrup, the pecans, and maybe a little bit more cinnamon if you want, because we want it to almost caramelize, kind of like a candy. Yeah. Right? So it's 10 minutes here, and then come back, do it, and then this is 15 minutes later. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. okay. Um, you, going back to your first question, which is a really good one, how do you store it? So for something like this, storing these in a paper bag is going to, to it's not a shelf life per se, because it's at home, but it's going to increase your shelf life because the paper bag is not going to saturate as much as um, putting it in a, in a container. Okay, so I would like put this in a paper bag or a bag of some sort. Something like this, I'll probably do the same thing because I'm probably going to use these as like salad toppers, like that crunch. For those that have seen that post where I'm talking about the bowl method, that's where that comes into play. So okay. yeah, use good questions on both of those. Um, Philly, any uh, takeaways or questions you might have? Uh, no, this looks exciting. It makes me want to actually take the plunge into uh, the, the Gabonza life outside of hummus. So this is <laughs> I cool. Know, yeah. This is definitely something that I can like put into a bunch of different little like Rubbermaid containers or Tupperware containers and have because having a change up from like granola, blueberry granola will be nice. Yeah, 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 100%. And you could probably add fruit into the, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one as well if you wanted, maybe a dry fruit. I didn't even think about that. So this kind of acts as a, as a much more nutrient-dense source of something like a granola. So yeah, or a trail mix. <clears throat> so yeah, that's a great job. That's a great idea, Philly. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm probably going to be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was, Phil, but I couldn't hear you. So if you want to type in that question, let me know. <laughs> Go ahead and type in the question, Phil. Um, Preston, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. What's up, you son of a bitch? <laughs> could not get the mute off. That sucked. <laughs> nothing sorry uh, wait no it's okay no it's okay um preston so we ran through this i will i will make sure that i post the the uh the recording but just real quick we made a cinnamon toast crunch type of uh garbanzo bean a little bit more of a sweet treat for those that might have those uh sugar-based cravings later at night uh That's here me. we did a little yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Here we did a bit more. And another thing, too, that I thought was a good idea. So Phil was like, hey, um, we might be able to add fruit to this. So you can probably add some dried fruit for like a more nutrient-dense type of granola or a trail mix. Um, here we did more of a spicy type of uh, garbanzo bean roast. Really good to go on salad or stuff like that if you're looking to just boost your nutrient density with this. And then on top of that... We also just did a, a Greek style um, salad that you can literally make beforehand and put it in your fridge and something that you can just um, take from if you need a side item. Okay. Um, and then Phil, you know, I'm putting chicken on that. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's, a, it's a roast or a sheet pan that you can definitely do. Uh, so like I said, that whole meal, everything that we did, all of the ingredients literally cost me probably about eight bucks. You can see here that this is a lot of food and I left a lot of the uh, ingredients outside of this because I just didn't call for it. And I also didn't think that I needed this big of a bowl, but now, now I know that I do. All right, so I, again, we're not trying to boost your immunity because your immunity is doing your, the, the same thing that it always does. But when we emphasize sleep, exercise, nutrition, and then also color with all of our meals, we're working to strengthen it to limit the chronic inflammation that happens with most illnesses or sicknesses. Okay, all right guys, um, let me know if you want more stuff like this. I, I felt like from a tech perspective, there was some lag here and there, um, but I thought it went well. So I, I appreciate you guys taking the time out uh, to come rock with me. Um, any questions you have right now or anything I can do for you? All good, all right.
Mad love for you guys. Hey, I got it done in 30 minutes, T. I felt really good about this. 12.56. <laughs> oh, that's so good. You got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, 100%. All right, guys. Have a good day. We'll chat. Bye. Thanks, Dad. You got it. Bye-bye.